Surprising new responsibilities for an HPD officer accused of turning a blind eye in the investigation of this accident that involved a fellow officer. And good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward. I'm Adelia Cheetah, and for Gina Gaston, seven officers were reprimanded for their roles in allegedly covering up the extent of a fellow officer's DWI accident. Well, HPD says Sergeant Ruben Trejo was drunk when he hit a school bus back in April, more than twice the legal limit. Trejo eventually was charged and then fired from the police force, but the officers accused of helping him nearly get away with it remain on the beat. And this evening, Eyewitness News uncovered a surprising new detail. Reporter Ted Oberg is here to put one of the officers' new jobs in focus. Ted? Dave, tonight we've learned the highest ranking officer among those disciplined is getting a new job. It's not part of his discipline. In fact, he'll have some increased and somewhat surprising new responsibilities. In the minutes after allegedly drunk HPD Sergeant Ruben Trejo crashed his pickup into a school bus, his fellow officers denied alcohol was involved. It was. HPD says Trejo is more than twice the legal limit. One officer literally covered up bottles on Trejo's floorboards and seven officers were disciplined for the botched investigation. This week, we learned some of the details why. They should have followed the proper procedures and if they did not, then, then they should have been disciplined. Assistant Chief Daniel Perellis was the highest ranking in the discipline group. HPD Chief McClellan told Perellis, you failed to ensure that a comprehensive and timely investigation was conducted into allegations that alcohol may have been a factor in Sergeant Trejo's accident. Just two weeks after being disciplined for not properly investigating that DWI accident, we've learned Chief Perellis is getting a new job. And get this, he'll now be in charge of traffic enforcement for HPD and the DWI task force. I don't know anybody that would think that's a good idea. Apparently, Chief McClellan thinks it's a good idea. He told us this afternoon, I have full confidence in the supervisors and officers involved in this case to be able to continue their duties without repeating the conduct that gave rise to this investigation. His boss, Mayor Anise Parker, didn't know about the switch. I have no idea about the, about the transfer. But even after she learned more details, she stayed quiet. Not everyone will. The transfer hasn't taken effect yet, but when it does, there is concern about what message it sends to officers trying to stop drunk drivers, when even the chief says the new man in charge didn't do it himself. What a terrible decision I think you can make putting this person in charge of the DWI um, unit. We did ask to speak with Assistant Chief Perellis himself today, but didn't hear back on our request. The job switch paperwork hasn't been signed by the chief yet, but we're told it's done. According to the chief's statement, he apparently has no second thoughts. In focus, Ted Oberg, 13 Eyewitness News.